Global News at 11 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Terry Shin. Said a breaking story a tsunami warning for Hawaii has just been canceled. It's definitely interesting being a radio reporter in a digital world. You know, no longer are the days where you're strictly filing a radio report. You're also filing video. You're very active on social media using Twitter or Facebook. We have a requirement of a, a minimum of four tweets when we're out in the field. Um, definitely being encouraged to capture more video for our website. So what we created is CKNW in 60 Seconds, which is going to air every night at 6 p.m. And it's just a basic overall, whether there was a major story or anything that was breaking that day. People like video and they like something that's concise, which is why we wanted to do it uh, one minute or less. Reporters are asked to tweet more and more. So we, the good thing about TweetDeck is you can personalize it. So in my case, I have our username, which is CKNW, so that I can stay on top of everything that's been tweeted. And then I also have a list of our reporters, just so that I can see whenever somebody tweets and I can retweet them right away and I can figure out what's happening, what they're saying. At the same time, I also created a police a police line over here just so that I can keep on top of anything they're saying and as well as our competitors just so that we know what's happening if there's any story that we're supposed to jump on. It's a lot on one reporter's plate. You know, especially in radio, we're expected to file to the top and bottom of the hour. Then we're doing live talk show hits uh, on our talk shows on CKNW. Then we're also uh, tweeting and taking video and using Facebook. People have to be, you know, smart consumers of news. They have to be uh, aware of the source of the of the information they're they're getting. And I think if there's a downside, it's that um, you know a lot of times people kind of fall into the echo chamber and and they only look at uh, sites or they only look at tweets or what have you information that backs up their particular worldview. A lot of story ideas, probably 99% come from stories and conversations that I see on Twitter or Facebook. So it's a good way to grab stories and look at conversations that people are having about things that are happening in Vancouver and then we can turn that into uh, stories and conversations on air. This is a great business. People say radio is dying. You know, people said video is killing the radio star and cassettes. So at one point, we're going to kill radio. Radio is not going anywhere. It's evolving every year. Uh, it's changing. We've got, we've got HD radio. We've got online radio. We've got, you know, it's, it's not all coming out of a, a big uh, tower in the sky. Uh, radio is going to be here for a long time, and, and audio storytelling is peaking. It's at its highest point with all the podcasts out there. We're part of a big brand, CKNW and Global are big brands. I don't think of CKNW just as a newsroom, just as a radio newsroom anymore, and I haven't for a long time. It's a place where we tell stories and we pump them out across all platforms. Uh, I haven't thought of it as a pure radio station for a long time. Despite how busy it is in here, I love it. I'm running on adrenaline right now, I'm getting the job done, and that's, that's satisfaction to me. And uh, we're, we're hitting the mark. It, every newscast, we're hitting the mark, we're getting the stories on the air, and I love that. And if you don't love doing that, you shouldn't be doing this job, and you won't be able to do this job, because that's what keeps you going. We know a lot of journalists have lost their jobs. We know the climate is very tough. <clears throat> We're fortunate in Vancouver where Global is very strong, CKNW is very strong. My message to the veterans and to the people starting out is be passionate, find stories, want to tell stories. If, if you can find compelling stories and present them across all platforms, you should be fine. Things are going to get faster and faster and faster and I think what 
the, the key to a, any great newsroom or, or great radio station is to plot your course and to try to be as proactive as you can in creating original content instead of reacting to what the, the landscape of the, the other media outlets are doing. If you're always on the run, you're never going to get ahead. So you constantly need to be thinking about, especially if you're breaking into this business, if you can enterprise a great story, if you can find the story that people should be talking about but aren't talking about, you will win every time. We're seeing so many people dying uh, on our streets uh, from fentanyl overdose, despite the best efforts and first responders.